some uh, breaking news overnight between talks of the labor union and Unifor and General Motors. Those have fallen apart. So the union represents more than 4,300 GM workers and now says it's going to go on strike at three Ontario GM facilities. Unifor National President Lana Payne is joining us this morning with the very latest. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, Lena, what are the demands auto workers are asking to be met and how did the talks fall apart? Uh, well, actually, we're still talking, but our members are on picket lines this morning and have been since uh, midnight last night at uh, three locations here in Canada, Oshawa Assembly Plant, uh, St. Catharines, uh, which is a powertrain uh, facility, and uh, our members at Woodstock, which is a distribution centre. Uh, basically, uh, you know, I've been very clear that uh, we needed to reach the pattern agreement with General Motors and next uh, Stellantis uh, that we achieved uh, for our members at Ford Motor Company. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we had a number of issues throughout the day yesterday in which uh, it was looking uh, very, very tough to get a, a, an agreement on. Uh, those would be uh, elements that were part of the pattern agreement. Uh, pensions, which as most people know were uh, one of our priority items. Uh, what happens uh, to temporary full-time workers who really should be treated as uh, permanent employees? And, uh, and, and then a health care allowance for our retirees as well as a number of issues. Uh, so as we got to, to 11 o'clock last night, it was pretty clear we were not going to get a deal by our deadline. And so our members are on the picket line now. Uh, you've been in those negotiations just down the street here from our studio all weekend long. I hear your voice is hoarse. Uh, so ultimately, where do you think this goes from here? Uh, we uh, talked through the night. I got about uh, 90 minutes sleep. Uh, just just uh, the, the last part of the morning, I uh, was able to rest and uh, we'll be back at it today. Uh, I have been very clear uh, to the company uh, that we expect it from the beginning that our members at General Motors would get the pattern that we negotiated at Ford. Uh, it, is, it is always a challenge uh, for, for a pattern to be achieved, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because one company uh, resists constantly uh, to live up to terms and conditions that we, uh, we, we bargain with another company. So we knew it was going to be a challenge, and we knew it was going to be a challenge particularly because of the significance of the agreement with Ford, economically speaking, and because we made improvements in many areas, pensions, for example, uh, for the first time in 15 years. Uh, we negotiated the highest uh, wage package with Ford Motor Company in the history of auto bargaining in Canada, and we managed to, uh, to bargain uh, supports for our members through the EV transition, as well as, uh, you know, uh, future investments uh, for our Ford facilities. These were our four priorities also coming into bargaining with General Motors. And, uh, you know, I don't know if they thought we were going to blink or what was, what was occurring or what they were thinking, uh, but we did not blink. And our members are, are, are firm here, and the resolve is firm, that they expect the same terms and conditions and improvements as, as we made for our Ford members. So you mentioned that last month your union successfully did ratify this three-year deal with Ford. So then what is the difference between these talks? Uh, well, it's very clear that, you know, the demographics of General Motors is different. Uh, they have a younger workforce, uh, which means, uh, you know, obviously a, a different uh, cost structure in terms of the economic agreement. Uh, we, uh, you know, it's always, always, I would say to you, a challenge to get a pattern in, in, in the auto sector. Generally, one of the companies will resist every single time. Uh, we expect it that that could happen with General Motors and definitely uh, as well with Stellantis, uh, who ha we haven't even sat down with yet, uh, but indications uh, there that we could still have uh, challenges ahead. Will we see eventually everyone on the picket line? Oh, <laughs> my goal is always to get a collective agreement, and that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to bargain through the day. We're going to keep working at it, and uh, our members are going to stay strong out there, and I know that they support this incredible bargaining committee that we have here at the Sheraton, and, uh, and they're feeling the solidarity uh, from our members across, across uh, General Motors right now. You and your counterparts are being fueled with lots of coffee this morning after 90 minutes rest in between, and you keep going. Lana Payne, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.